Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shad by Hashem, Rakakadash, the buttons to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. I greet this salutations to you. I came up on the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shad, in truth and in sincerity. All right, this is a prophecy update. A couple of us um, disciples out of the command, Great Millstone, London Church, lesson of exhortation. Notification, Lord willing, feed the sheep, warn the sheep uh, of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Um, this is concerning the rapid offensive of the Taliban in Afghanistan and the Middle East. Um, of course, we understand that the U.S. Has, uh, is pulling out of Afghanistan in the 20 year war. Uh, the deadline is September 11th, ironically. And Taliban has utilized this uh, as an opportunity to regain control and power over Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. uh, for those who are not familiar with the Taliban, they are a, a, a militant group of the, primarily of the Pashtun ethnic group. Uh, uh, they're Elamites, all right? They're Elamites, um, and they had taken over Afghanistan. They came from the midst of the Mujahideen, and they were part of the Mujahideen that fought the Soviets. Um, but they came over; they came out triumphant after the Soviet occupation in the Civil War of, I, of Afghanistan, and I believe in 1996. Uh, and they ruled from 96 to 2001 when the uh, U.S. NATO-led coalition, the, the Roman Empire, had invaded them, and um, essentially they never destroyed them; they just kicked them into the mountains. All right, but now we see them making um, rapid gains. This is biblical prophecy, and this is going to escalate because what? This is this is geopolitical, all right? Because what? Uh, Taliban and what they're trying to do with the Islamic Emirate, that's not just going to be for Afghanistan. That's why you have Uzbek, um, uh, Uzbek, which is a, a other. It's like a Turkish people. In Central Asia, that's aligning with them. A lot of other different Islamic factions are aligning with them. All right, you have different people have different interests in Afghanistan because of the natural resources. So, depending who it sits at, um, as the political head, will determine if these people are able to eat off of their investment. So, what does that what does that cause? War. All right. All right. So, yeah, you go ahead with that article. Okay, this is the article from Rush Today's News. Of August 11th, 2021, mm -hmm. and it's titled Taliban Seizes Eighth Provincial Capital Amid Massive Offensive as Biden Calls on the Afghans to, to, in quotation marks, fight for themselves. And they're gaining by the day, by the hour. I believe at this moment, the most recent thing I saw, they have captured mm -hmm. nine provincial capitals. Mm -hmm. Right. If you look at a map of Afghanistan now, Taliban controls about 90% of Afghanistan. All right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, the Taliban has seized two more provincial capitals in Afghanistan, taking control of eight major cities in just four days. In four days. Mm -hmm. eight, ma don't, eight major cities in four days. Mm -hmm. that, is that is astronomical. All right, mm -hmm. go ahead and mean a relentless wave of attacks as the U.S. President Joe Biden urges Afghans to fight for their country. Right, but, you know, and see, this is Esau being a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. All right, you, you're pulling out, you, you're retreating with your tail underneath you, dishonorably, yep. all right, and what, you're just urging them to fight for themselves. But guess what? They are going to have to fight for themselves, and you are not going anywhere. Nor is Russia, nor is China, nor is Persia, nor is Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. All of you nations are going to be brought to the judgment seat. And we're going to get into that in the book of Joel. Mm -hmm. That right there is the judgment seat of Yahweh by Shimei yeah. Shah. All right? Got it. It reads, after a series of attacks on Tuesday, the militant group captured Ferris City in the southwest, mm -hmm. capital of the province of the same name, as well as the capital of Bag Bagalan, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, province Puli Komori, located just 125 miles from the national capital of Kabul. Right, just just 200 kilometers from Kabul. Mm -hmm. All right, and these in Kabul, that is, when, if Kabul falls, the 
the Afghan coalition government that was set up by NATO will fall. They, they're going to fall regardless. Yep. All right. Go ahead. Uh, continuing on, it says, in quotation marks, it says, the Taliban are now in the city. All right. Then it says, raise their flag in the main square and on the governor's office building. On the governor's office building. These guys are in control. They, they have power in Afghanistan right now. All right. This is not uh, uh, some rebel group, you know, in the in the trenches somewhere. No, these are people who are taking control over provincial cities. They have control over border crossings with multiple states, such as Iran, Uzbekistan, mm -hmm. Tajikistan. All right. These people, and guess what? With border crossings, what? That's where you get traffic. That's where you get your money from. Mm -hmm. With the, the road system, transportation, taxes. All right, so on and so forth. And guess what? If they have control of that, how is Kabul going to get their natural resources? How is Kabul going to get what they need for, to maintain their daily life? This is called siege warfare. We're witnessing it right now. All right, go ahead. Then continuing on, it says, responding to the latest Taliban gangs, President Joe Biden insisted that he did not regret his decision to withdraw American forces. That's pride. That's you yeah. saw pride. Yep. You know. It says did not regret to not regret his decision to withdraw American forces from the country after a twenty year campaign, mm -hmm. telling re reporters the plan will not change. He also urged Afghan officials to unite to defend their country, arguing they were well equipped to do so. Uh, well equipped with what? Not not the spirit. <laughs> because you know, and a lot of these um, Afghan forces, they have low morale. All right, the the people don't the people are not dealing with them. The people don't like the Afghan forces because they align with the Americans. A lot of those Af Af Afghans, the, the average Afghan person doesn't like the Americans. I don't like the infrastructure and the political system that the Americans set up. Yeah. It's un, which it is un-Islamic. And is against the Bible, and it's it's, it's against Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, which we don't have anything to do with Islam. But for this fact, what they are doing is against it's against ancient culture and custom. All right, it's it's, it's blasphemy putting a woman on the pedestal, talking about woman rights. But how does a woman? How does somebody flying a kite, a woman kicking a soccer ball, or or yelling her her mouths in some in some political office on her cycle? Uh, uh, right, man. That that is absolute um, uh, ludicrous behavior, man, and that's the confusion that Babylon the Great pushes on these neighbor, on excuse me, on these nations to weaken the nation so they can control and manipulate the nations, man. All right, um, let's, let me, matter of fact, I'm gonna grab uh, Joel the second chapter at the top, and you can break it down. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of Yahweh cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Yo, and these, these news and prophecies, that's why we give the prophecy update to alert, alert the uh, viewers, man, to alert the audience of those sincere believers to let you know that these are all just building, you know, gradually to World War III. You know, this is all step by step to World War III, okay? Uh, verse 2, a day of darkness yep. and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness yep. as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, <laughs> there hath not been ever the light, hey, neither and that's what's going to make that, that time hey, a never the light, man, these people never seen missiles, that strong people are referring to the missiles, man, right, right. All right, these, hey, these, it, that nuclear, it's gonna be, that's why the scriptures say a day and down like it, man all right, these missiles haven't been shot before. Right. Okay. Right. It's been bombs, you know. It's been, you know, this and that, uh, uh, airstrike, you know, the planes, you know, with the tail guns, whatnot, but not, not missiles, and not this amount that's about to be shot. Right. All right. It says neither shall be any more after it, See. even to the years of many generations. That's what's gonna make it that that much more great, man. This is the lad. This is the war to win all to to end all wars. That's why we continue to say it because it's gonna come a time we're not gonna be able to say it, but the Lord's gonna be doing it. You know that's what's gonna make this time even more that, that much more heavy. Right, and know? these and the the heavenly Father, He is going to judge all of you nations yeah. in that landmass. All right, mm -hmm. uh, what is that? Is Ezekiel, Magog. Can we grab that yeah, real quick? Yeah, yeah. This is, uh, because Russia, 
if you see right now when you look at it, Russia is back in uh, to, uh, was it Tajikistan um, and the different uh, frontier elements of that that's next to Afghanistan. They're doing military drills. Russia has been a guard unto them. If you can receive it, Russia is going to lead all of these nations into World War Three against America and defeat America with thermonuclear missiles and defeat Israel with thermonuclear missiles. But there, Russia and America is going to be checked in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man. We'll get it. Go ahead. This is Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 1. Mm -hmm. And it reads, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Verse 2, Son of man, set thy face against God, the land of Magog. A God meaning meaning mountain. But God is actual, um, is a, a, a actual man who produce a nation of people in that Russian vicinity of a landmass, but the Russians don't descend from God. The Russians descend from Esau, Edom. So when it says, set thy face against God, it's talking about set thy face against the landmass which those Russians are inhabiting. Mm -hmm. All right? That's why Magog means of, of mountains or, of, or the land of God, the land of God. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Continue on. It says the land of Magog, mm -hmm. the chief prince of Meshech, and Tabal, and prophesy against him. Right, which you, you, you're dealing with Azerbaijani, Armenia, uh, 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 and Putin. All that infrastructure is going to align itself as it was. Because what? He said, I was set a hook in thy mouth, right? That yeah, it's going to go. It's oh, gonna go, go ahead, yeah. Matt. Go ahead. I'm jumping the gun. Verse, uh, verse 4. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. Right. Now, what is he turning him, Russia back into? The Soviet Union. The Iron Curtain, which the Soviet Union was one of the greatest empires that this earth has ever seen. It was massive. Stretching from West Berlin all the way, all the way to the, uh, the, the Siberian nowhere. All the way up into to the, to no man's land in the far, in the far east, man. All right, Russia even today, from a geographic perspective, is the largest nation on earth. All right, go ahead. It says, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth in all thy army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even with even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. That's what you see in Tajikistan. They just did some military drills of India. That's what. Mm -hmm. That's what you see manifesting right now as we yeah, speak. The missile test. Missile test. Absolutely. Go ahead. Verse 5, it reads Persia, Ethiopia. Persia, the Lord naming you out, man. Mm -hmm. These are the nations that are going to be aligned with Russia in this great day. Persia being who? The Iranians. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Ethiopia. Ethiopia being those Kushites um, south of the landmass of Egypt. All right, which they're in war right now. This civil, it's full fledged civil war in Ethiopia, and you people have no idea what the hell is going on, man. It's war on all four corners of this earth. All right, it's just Babylon the Great is being saved for last. Go ahead. In Libya, Libya, with them, all no, of which them, is North Africa. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. All of them with shield and helmet, Gomer and all his bands. Right, which Gomer is speaking of um, Turkey. All right, the Turks. All right. And we understand that Turkey, the actual landmass of Turkey, it, the Turks don't just stop at Turkey. The Turks have a wide variety of nations on this earth, from Uzbekistan, Az um, Azerbaijani, all those are Turks. And the list goes on. All right. And guess what? They, they have allegiance to Turkey. So when Turkey goes to war, Azerbaijan is going to war. Uzbekistan going to war. Tajikistan is going to war. Turkmenistan is going to war. Do you understand? Because the Lord is, is, is bringing these nations up to the yeah. Valley of Jehoshaphat. Yeah. Go marry all his bands in the house of Togomar. All of his bands. Go ahead. Of the north quarters and all his bands and many people with them. Mm. Verse 7. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself. Thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee. And be thou a garden to them. Be a garden to them. That's exactly what Russia is going to be. A garden to them. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is about to judge Taliban. He's about to judge Russia. He's about to judge America. He's about to judge um, Persia, mm -hmm. Ethiopia, Libya, Goma. All of the nations of the earth 
China, you're about to be judged as well. All right? All of you nations are about to be judged in that landmass of the Middle East because you, you, because you have certain alignments where you go, you're going to have to go there and fight, man. Yep. That's going to be, it, 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 you're not going to have a choice. Yep, man, All right? ones of the Lord. <laughs> yep, matter of fact, mm, mm -hmm. uh, Sirach, matter of fact, let me get it. You, you, can, you, can, you can wrap. I'm gonna wrap this up. is a, uh, Ezekiel 38, verse 8. After many days, thou shalt be visited. In the latter years, thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel, which have been always waste. But it has brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely all of them. Thou shalt ascend and come like unto a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. Thou and all thy bands and many people with them. All right, because going to that judgment, man, these nations about to get judged. Yeah. All right, verse 10, it says, Thus said the Lord, power, it shall also come to pass, that at the same time shall things come into thy mind. And thou shalt think an evil thought. And that's exactly what we're going into. These hey, these nations are thinking an evil thought. The evil yeah. thought being war. Yeah. All right? War is not is not a light thing, man. That's, look, that's a that's a drastic change, man. In yeah. the in the in the that's why I say uh geopolitical. Mm -hmm. You know, this is this thing this is this war is about to be global. It's not just gonna be here in this state, in this city, a little protest. No, that's not gonna cut it, mm -hmm. man. Even though that's part of prophecy as well. But this is big time. Yeah. You know? I had, I had a quick one, oh, yeah, precept of the brother yeah. saying, because the Lord, he controls everything that's taking place. These yeah. people think that they what they're doing is on, on off of their own account. No, Yahweh Bashim Shah is controlling China. He's yeah. controlling North Korea. He yeah. controls the missile silos. He's controlling the Ayatollah. Now, yeah. he's not dealing with these people, but he has controlled. He controls Trump. He controls yeah. Biden. He yeah. controls us. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 18. Verse 2, matter of fact, verse 1. He that liveth forever created all things in general. Yep. Yahweh only is righteous, and there is none other but he who governeth the world with the palm of his, of his hand. Yep. Say he governeth the world with the palm of his hand, man. Mm -hmm. This is a this is the great fashioner, man. Yep. All right. It says, and all things obey his will. Esau pushing the chip. He's yeah. pushing. He's pushing Vanessa. That's Yahweh by Shimei Shah's will, man. Yep. All the nations going into the Middle East to get their judgment. That's yep. the Heavenly Father's will. Yep. It says, um, "For He is the King of all, by His power, dividing yep. holy things among them from profane. And the profane is the heathens. Two thirds. Yep. The holy is the elect of the nation of Israel." Yep. If I can add to the to the brother's point, you know that the Lord is doing it because how He has He's having His prophet say it. From the scriptures before it before it even happens. Mm -hmm. That's how that's to let you know. That's to let the people know that he truly is doing. It. Yep. You know that the prophet have, have been among them, and that his name is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh All right, I had a quick pre just to back up that point too. With yep. Proverbs twenty one verse one, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, as the rivers of the water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. So eight hey, oh, see, oh that's the, uh, oh that's oh that ain't nothing but better. Hey, nah, hey, but, um, I'm moving the hell out of this. <laughs> but uh, back to Proverbs 21, verse 1. Hey, the Lord turned the king's heart with us, so whatever you do it. So Vladimir Putin, Joe Biden, however these hey, these, these governmental uh, officials are, he's control. Hey, the Lord's doing all these things, man. And we're just here to witness it and call it out and, and warn our people from it. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, let me get some real quick. This is Joel chapter 1, verse 15. Alas, for the day. For the day of Yahweh is at hand, and as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. All right, so the day of the Heavenly Father is at hand. The day of destruction, judgment, it has come upon the planet Earth, man. All right, and we see that via what's taking place geopolitically in Afghanistan with the Taliban, man. All right? Mm -hmm. And when you understand the investments that China has in Afghanistan, the investments that... um. Uh, India has in Afghanistan, all right? The investments that Iran has in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. the, the, the Silk Road Initiative that China's, that China's trying to initiate. China's about to put tro troops in Afghanistan. They have to, to fulfill their desires. And because of their desires, they're going to be led to the king of terrorists, all right? Mm -hmm. um, I got you. This is uh, the book of Joel. Um... The book of Joel, chapter 3, 
verse 9, it says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Yeah, these nations that, that in the past years, you know, haven't been so, haven't been coming out so mighty like North Korea, Iran. These nations have, haven't always had that warlike spirit within themselves. But now in the last days, hey, they're speaking boldly and loud through their, through their uh, missile advancements. Man. Right, they exactly. have, they have, they have warfare. They're not, they're not focusing on developing their country. They're, they're focusing on war. All right, it said, they said, uh, putting those plowshares into swords. Yeah. Okay. They were this this time this time is for the it's, it's uh step by step for World War Three. That's what's about to take place, man. All right. Right, that's right. Um, verse eleven it says, "Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen." <laughs> With <laughs> Taliban, you a bunch of heathen. Yeah. You Russians a bunch of heathens. You yeah. Chinese a bunch of heathen. All every any and everybody mm -hmm. who is not of the stock and the descent of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob yeah. are heathens, man. Yeah. All right. It says. And it reads, it says, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh. And that's in Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is going to bring his mighty ones from yeah. the heavens. All right. Yeah. That great mountain that was engraved in uh, Second Ezra, I believe the, um, the 13th chapter. Mm -hmm. All right. That, the, the Lord is going to come with the host of heaven. Yep. From the angels pursuing to the book of Isaiah, yep. the 66th chapter, for the Lord yep. will come with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind. Yeah. All right. Yep. And the it's, scriptures continue to say uh, all throughout the Bible, Lord of hosts, man, go, that goes to the armies. Right. You it talks about why. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Lord of armies. That's what that means. The Lord. And then you go to the book of his, um, Exodus, uh, the 15th chapter, the third verse says, the Lord thy God is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. All right, he's a man of war. Yep. It says, Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, gather yourselves together round about. Did the cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh? Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Mm -hmm. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Yep, hey, Jehoshaphat, Yahweh should put, man, the, the Lord's judgment. All right, yep. the Lord's about, about, hey, about to put on a movie, man. Yep. All right, hey, Lord, will we be those. Those spirits that are beamed up and delivered and Fact. watching from above, pertaining Fact. to Isaiah 26, verse 20. You know, watch, uh, come into thy chambers Dang. and watch the end of nations yeah. uh, over and past, man. Mm. Watch that wrath of, of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah over past, man. We're about to witness, we're about to literally witness what, what we're reading, you know. Only with thine eyes yep. shall thou see the reward of the wicked. Exactly. Yep. It says, Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down to the press. It's, it's, it's like it. For the press is full, the fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. And what is your wickedness? Iran, you could proclaim to be a, a, a theocracy. What are you doing? You are jabbing everybody up, man. America, Russia, you're supposed to be Orthodox Christian, whatever. You are putting an incision into people, and all of you heathens are going to push the chip because you're a bunch of phonies, and your Yahweh Shemel is about to judge you for your wickedness, man. And who are they trying to do to, first and foremost? So-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians, the yep. children of God, the, the Israelites according to the Bible. Yep. All right? They, that's that's one thing they want, they all agree upon, man. They want an agenda pertaining to Psalms 83. 83, yep. You know? Yep. That's right. It says, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of Yahweh is near in the valley of decision, man. All right? And those multitudes... Are what those armies pursuing what we just read in the book of Ezekiel, the 38th chapter? Matter of fact, you hold something. No, 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 no. Let's grab uh Revelations. Let's see what the, dealing with those multitudes. We already read about in detail who those multitudes were Magi, which being Russia, Gomar being Turkey, and, and and all of his bands, which are all of the Turkish people from Azerbaijan, Uzbekistan, yeah. so on and so forth, um, Persia, Ethiopia. All right, which Ethiopia is dealing with those Somalis. The Somalians are, are allied with Turkey, actually, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. So they're going to be brought into the into valley. Remember, World War II, you had Indians, you had all different nations fighting in World War II yeah. for their prospective overlords, man. Yeah. And that's what's going to take place now. Yep. All right, yep. 16 and um, uh, start at verse 15. This is um, 
Revelation chapter 16, verse 15. Mm -hmm. And it reads, Behold, I come as a thief. Woo! Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. He's coming as a thief. He's coming as a thief in the night. He's coming in an hour in which you did not expect, you nations, you different nations, you people. All right? He's, he's coming as a blink of an eye. As it is written, Behold, I, I saw Satan fall as lightning. You got it. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. And that's talking about the Israelites. And we're watching. What are we doing right now? We're standing on the watchtower and watching, man. All right, we're, look, we're looking for prophecy. All right? Okay, we're, we're maintaining our character, our discipline. That's when we go into that um, those garments. That garments is speaking of the righteousness of the saints. The garments is keeping the ordinances of the Heavenly Father and the faith and the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. You got it. Lest he, ha it's like it. Lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Which walking naked is being, um, is Israelites who don't, who don't repent and who don't keep the commandments and the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Shah, man. All right, you other heathens, you don't even have a chance of salvation. You Taliban, you were doing all of that in vain. You're not going to enter into pe you're going to enter into slavery. All right? All of you heathens, you you, you Iranians, all of you, you Chinese, you don't even believe in God, and we're going to show you there's a God. All right? Go ahead. Verse 16, he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon, which is the same thing as the Valley of Jehoshaphat. All right, which Armageddon, when you go into the Hebrew, is Har Magadwan. Har meaning ooh. And what Gog means what? Gog also means mountain. All right? It, uh, har meaning mountain. Uh, ma of or pertaining. God, God meaning troop. God one, plural, troop. So mountain of troops. All right? But that's why I said when we. What was that? It said, um, Joel, multitudes, multitudes. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's that, that. That's those mountains of troops, man. All right, in which all nations are going to be brought to their landmass and get judged by Yahweh by Shemiah and Shah, turned into a pillar of smoke, man, a yeah. pillar of dust. Yep. You got it? Yep. That's, uh, you want to continue on? Is, is it some more? That, that's true. If that's not, true. you if you had something, we can roll what you got, or we can roll, with, um, uh, second edges, the 13th chapter. If you ain't had nothing. No, that one. Okay. Then second Ezra, uh, chapter 13. And we can wrap it up on this if you ain't had nothing else. Uh, yeah, that was it. Okay. Then second Ezra 13, verse 1. And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night. And lo, there arose a skip, wind. Skip down to the mountains. The way, the graven oh, yeah, mountain, okay. graven mountain. This is uh, second Ezra 13, uh, the, uh, verse 5. And it reads, and after this, I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men. <laughs> we just read about the multitudes of multitudes. Yep. We just read about Armageddon, all right? Which this is talking about the same thing. It just yep. given to different pro prophets and a different yep. disputation of time periods and different intricate detail, man. Mm -hmm. But the same great day of the Lord. Yep. You got it. There was gathered together a multitude of men mm -hmm. out, of, out of number from the four winds of the heaven. To All nations. Yep. To subdue the man that came out of the sea. Right. And the man that came out of the sea, when you go into that term sea, the sea is talking about the heavens. It's talking about space. All right. When you go into the term, uh, in the Hebrew term, heavens is Shemayim, which means pertaining to the waters. All right. Shout out to Pastor Har. You know, brought that out. Genesis, um, Genesis breakdown. But pertaining to the waters. All right. Which you have waters in the atmosphere where we breathe. This is waters in the atmosphere. You have waters in the ocean, yep. and you, which is the deep, and you have waters in the heavens above the firmament. Space is waters within there as well. All right, and he can't. Yahweh, he's coming from coming from space. Yep. You got it. Verse six, and I beheld, and lo, he had graved him a graved himself a great mountain, which that great mountain is talking about what you would call a UFO, which we call a chariot. Mm -hmm. All right, you got it. And flew up upon it. And flew up. So we know it's not talking about the sea. It's right. talking about he's, first of all, he thought, it's talking about he's flying. Right. All right. That mountain, that's why, what they call it? Spaceship. Yeah. Why did, why do they call it spaceship? See? Mm -hmm. Why do they say beam me up Scotty? Which Scotty, we know, go back to black. Yep. Scott. Yep. Scott. 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 Yep. All right. Which means black. All right. 
And that's talking about Yahweh Shah because he is that so-called black man, which he's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, which has he has dark skin, and it's not about his skin, but it's about what he's about to do and what he has done, man. You got it. Verse 7, but I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. Verse 8. It was so big. The chariot yeah. was so big. The yeah. UFO was so big. He couldn't even see from that end of the UFO to the other end of the UFO. It yeah. just was humongous. You got yeah. it. Verse 8. And after this, I beheld and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him. Was... All you nations, the Iranians, the Chinese, the Russians. Yeah. The different special forces units, the different uh, Africans. A the Africans. But you, these Africans are about to try to show up in World War III. Mm -hmm. You Somalis, you Kush. That's why I said ye Ethiopians also should be slain by my sword, man. All right? As is written, was that Zechariah? Zephaniah? Yeah, Zephaniah. Yeah. Zephaniah? Yeah. 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 That's right. Go ahead. Then, uh, it reads, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid. They were afraid. Scared. Yep. And, and rightfully so. And yet, there's fight. And you still fight. You was, you're going to be scared. You gonna you ain't going to want to fight them. That's why it says in the book of Revelations, it says, uh, um, fall, us on, fall on those mountains and hide us from the presence of the Lamb and Him that sit up on the throne. They wanted, they wanted to die. They wanted the mountains and the bunkers to fall on them so they wouldn't have to deal with Yahweh Shah. But no, it said, yet there's fight. You still going to have to deal with Him. He going to make you fight. He's going to take, that's what we just went into, the Lord control people. He controls exactly. you. Yep. He gonna make you do. He's gonna make you fight him. All right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse nine. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword nor any instrument of war, but only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, mm -hmm. and out of his and out of his tongue. He cast out sparks and tempests. That's a concentrated laser beam. Yep. <laughs> yep. From the, from those chariots, man. Those, those laser beams from the chariots, man. Right. And it says, uh, verse 11. Mm. It says, and they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight, and burned them up every one. So that upon a sudden of innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. <laughs> only dust yep. and smell of smoke. Only, only dust and the smell of smoke. Mm -hmm. All this preparation, all this, this, this these investments, this yep. energy, these desires, yeah, these the build, aspirations. Build up. <laughs> all to be in one hour to be turned into dust and the smell of smoke. And, you, and you're going to come for us and guess what? Yahweh, that same God and that same power is going to lift a terrific standard for us, and in that we are very confident. Yep. So, so you can you can come with your forces, and you're gonna to have to deal with it. And see, He's making you come for us. Yeah. They don't want to do it, but they got to, and the Lord's gonna check them, just like He's gonna check them in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man. Yep. All right. And what makes it comforting, man, is that we already know this is going to happen, so we're able to prepare our spirit, prepare our mind. For these things to take place, man. That's what's going that's what has us come. That's why these scriptures are comforting. We know what you're gonna do before you do it. Right. We just gotta keep the faith in and be prepared and sustain and sustain through it. Right. That's all and that's that and that's what endurance is, man. Right. Going through those uh, that straight gate, man, those positions of difficulty. All right. So yeah, uh that's right, bro. Yeah, that that that's all that's true. That's yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's uh, yeah, that's man. You got anything else? Nah, that all was right. it. Okay. Hey, you know, rejoice and be exceedingly glad. O oh, sons of Jacob, mm -hmm. O oh, sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, because our kingdom is at hand. When them yeah. niggas are turned into a dust and pillar of smoke, I hope you know it's over with. You know, everything, these heathens' forces, the Lord is bringing all of them in one place to hit, to, for one blow, take them all out. Yep. He's going to smoke them out in one blow. Mm -hmm. All right? And guess what? New Jerusalem will be established on the earth, man. Yeah, yeah. Because while this destruction is happening, the deliverance is, is going to be happening as well. Simultaneously. <laughs> right. That's right. Is it a twinkle of an eye? Yep. All right. So, hey, with that, we're going to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Once again, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone that do well overseeing this tabernacle of David. All right. And um, salutations to you, Akim, that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Hey, shalom. Hey, shalom. And keep the faith.
Assalamualaikum. Eh, bye-bye.